the pros and cons of living in a homeowner's association community. Is it right for you? So are you considering moving into a neighborhood with a homeowner's association? Before making your decision, it is essential to understand the advantages and disadvantages that come with living in a HOA community. So in this video, I'll explore the five pros and cons of residing in a homeowner's association, helping you to determine whether it aligns with your lifestyle and preferences. So join us as we dive into the world of HOAs, as we call it. Welcome everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the pros and cons of living in a homeowner association. Homeowner association are prevalent in many communities, especially newer communities, but they are not for everyone. So, are they for you? First, let's introduction. Hey there, this is KG. I'm a realtor with Fairfax Realty in Greenbelt, where we have buyers to buy their dream home and sellers to achieve their real estate goals. So if you are looking to buy, sell, move, invest in real estate in the DMV area or any part of the union, connect with us so that we can get you and help you achieve your real estate goal. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today we're talking about five pros and cons of living in a homeowner association. Is it right for you? Let's explore. The first Pro is amenities and maintenance. One of the significant benefits of living in an HOA community is access to various amenities. This can include swimming pool, fitness centers, parks, and community gathering spaces. Additionally, the HOA typically takes care of the maintenance and upkeep of this amenity, saving you time and effort. The second pro is enhanced property values. So another advantage is that HOA often enforce strict guidelines and regulation regarding property upkeep. This can help maintain property values throughout the community because well-maintained homes and common areas create attractive environment that can positively impact property resale value. Yeah, I know that. Third, community engagement and event. HOA often organize community events such as holiday parties, block parties, neighborhood gathering. These events foster a sense of belonging and provide opportunities to connect with your neighbors. So if you enjoy socializing and being part of a tight-knit community, an HOA can offer a rich social life. Number four pro is shared responsibility. So if you're living in an HOA, it means sharing the responsibility of maintaining the common area with your neighbors. This shared responsibility can alleviate the burden of managing certain aspects of community, right? Such as landscaping, snow removal, and security. So it also ensures consistent standard of care for everyone. Number five is dispute resolution. HOA typically have guidelines and procedure in place to resolve conflicts between residents. So if you encounter issues with a neighbor, noise disturbances, or property dispute, HOA can step in as a mediator to find a fair resolution. This structured approach to conflict resolution can provide peace of mind. So now that we have covered the pros, let's move on to the cons of living in a homeowner association, like the disadvantage. The number one is the fees and assessment. So one common concern is the financial aspect. HOA require regular fee or assessment to cover the cost of maintaining common areas and amenity. It is important to consider these additional expenses and factor them into your budget before deciding to live in an HOA community. You want to look at that fees and review. Number two is the rules and restriction. HOA often have strict rules and regulations governing the appearance and use of your property. Yeah, while this helps maintain the community aesthetic, it can also limit your freedom to make certain changes to your home or property. So you want to make sure to review the HOA rules and restrictions to ensure they align with your preferences and lifestyle. Number four, restriction on personalization, just like the other ones. Some individual may find HOA restriction on personalization to be a drawback. Certain limitation on paint color, renovation, even yard decoration can hinder homeowners' freedom to express themselves creatively. 
So it is crucial to review the rules, the HOA rules, before committing to living in an HOA community. Number four, lack of autonomy. So the downsides of having an HOA mediate dispute is that it limits individual autonomy. Owners may have to have to not adhere to decision made by the, the, uh, the HOA association, even if they disagree with the with the decision, it is important to understand that the, go the HOA governing documents and dispute resolution process to know what to expect when this happens. Fifth is the lack of potential privacy, right? Potential lack of privacy. Some individuals may feel that living within an HOA restricts their privacy. The shared nature of the community and the HOA involvement in enforcing rules and regulation may lead to a perceived loss of personal privacy. Homeowners should weigh the benefit of increased security against their desire for privacy. Last but not the least, HOA fosters a sense of community and offers opportunities for socializing common events such as holiday parties, neighborhood gatherings, organized sports, and can help homeowners build relationship with their neighbors and create wonderful memories so these are the pros and cons of living in a homeowner association community ultimately the decision whether to not live or to live in a hoa is a personal one so you need to weigh the pros and cons carefully and decide what is important to you you really need to review the documents know about what is involved in all those documents before you sign on the dotted line right because when you write an offer you have a certain number of days to make sure you get the hoa document and, and review it and either accept to move forward the con uh, with the contract or to cancel the contract all right so thank you for watching today i hope i uh, give you some valuable information about living the pros and cons of living in homeowners association if you have any question definitely feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me so this is KG, I'm a realtor with Fairfax Realty in Greenbelt, where we help buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. And like I said, do subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. Until next time, happy home shopping.